It is important to understand sleep, to sleep better. We pass through four phases of consciousness by default. However, the science understands the three states of the consciousness, waking state, sleeping state, and dreaming state. But the most interesting thing that when we are awake, we don't know about the sleep, we don't know about the dream. When we are in deep sleep, we are not at all aware. And that is where we use the term unconsciousness. <clears throat> and even in sleep, we are not aware of the dream. And the same thing applies when we are in deep sleep, we are not awake and we are also not dreaming. And if the sleep is totally unconscious state, we can't do anything. But still, we can help ourselves by regular practice to induce the state of the sleep. I just talked about the fourth state of the consciousness. The first three are sleep, waking state, and the dream. The Eastern wisdom explains that there is a fourth state of the consciousness. We say it is awakened state. And interesting thing that the teacher says that this fourth state contains all the other three states of the consciousness. So if we learn step by step meditation, we can explore the subjective state of the sleep in us. When we discover the fourth state in meditation, we can easily transition to any of these states, whether it is sleep, whether it is waking, whether it is dream. No doubt, the studies on mindfulness and other relaxation practices from the Eastern wisdom suggest that it reduces the anxiety, it improves the sleep, and it overcomes the fatigue. Yes. And it increases your focus and memory. We can understand intellectually something like uh, uh, we have a total conscious control over the mind and its functioning in the awakened state. The mind is the instrument. But when the mind works on us, or we work through the mind, there are always chances that we are dominated by the conditioned mind, and that conditioned mind prevents us to sleep. Normally, the sleep comes by default. So this conditioned mind causes the laziness, craziness, blaming, moving in likes and dislikes, in hatred, and in love. So the entire journey of the Eastern wisdom is to discover that fourth state. What happens? Then you start working on the mind. And when we work on the mind, we are always happy in peace and live our life with the wisdom and the right perception and action. But the most important thing is that when we work on the mind, the mind drops all the obstacles and the barriers that prevents you from sleeping. Let us examine that sleep state a little bit. We are not aware of the external world in deep sleep. Normally our eyes are closed in deep sleep. Our sense organs are not active. 
we don't see, we don't hear, we don't feel the touch. We do not know where we are sleeping. We don't have any clue of the time, location, objects around us in deep sleep. That is why we say we are totally unconscious. It is a comparison with the waking state. But then what happens? Can we do anything directly to induce sleep? No, we can't do anything directly to induce sleep. If we do it, we are in a waking state. And the waking state is opposite to the sleep. One is conscious, other is unconscious. But still there is something deep within us. The Eastern wisdom says it is the real self. For example, when we are in deep sleep, someone shakes or makes a louder sound. We instantly wake up. We change our sleep state to a waking state. It happens. It happens on its own. I won't use the term we change. What is that who wakes us even in deep sleep? It does not happen when we are in coma. So here is a clue that we can use in inducing deep sleep. The relaxation, mindfulness and other practices from the Eastern wisdom surely works in inducing deep sleep. What is relaxation in Eastern wisdom? It is simply the withdrawal of the conscious mind from outside to inside. You are fully aware, but your mind is not working through the senses. We can achieve that state of relaxation according to the Eastern wisdom easily. The next step is the yoga nidra. That is the state between the waking and the sleep. And the next phase is the meditation. That is transcending the mind. It means we transcend all the three states and enter into the fourth state of the consciousness. Then again the question comes, uh, how to sleep better? The best thing to do is to learn relaxation practice every day. The moment you are ready to sleep, lie down on your bed with eyes closed, listen to the four step relaxation practice that I'm adding in this video and do the practice every day. Once you learn how to induce a conscious relaxation, we will move to the next step of Yoga Nidra. And this relaxation practice in the Yoga Nidra greatly helps to improve the sleep. And it, it helps you to drop many challenges that comes due to the sleep disturbances.